Hi everyone, Arlene Garcia Art. So after making all of those Father's Day cards, I needed to rest my eyes on something else. And as I was going through my stuff, I thought, well, I gotta share this with everybody. This was a pair of jeans that I believe belonged to my kids. And I made a handbag out of it and put patches and buttons and recycled fabric on there. This was a t-shirt, a tie-dye t-shirt. I collect on Marilyn Monroe and these are some of my buttons. And then I worked on Scarface with Al Pacino. And that's a little button from the movie. And I worked on a TV show as a psychic carny on Heroes. And so my sister uh, picked that button up for me. She also picked up this button. Do these beads make my butt look big? Well, hope not. <laughs> um, actually, because I design jewelry as well. That was funny, and because I'm gifted in the other part of the body, that was twice as funny. So the inside is lined, and that flame fabric was a scarf that my son used to wear when he was a kid. There's an inside pocket there, and then the strap has more patches, an E that I just Frankensteined over, and then another patch. I thought that was funny. And then this was a the covered the front part of my camouflage pants. So I ended up changing those pants out and just put this on the strap. A leopard heart that I cut out. Um, a witch that I also put her on the camouflage fabric. A money patch and a gold rush button. I don't from the front here. Ooh, this might be kind of old. And turn that little back pocket into a pocket. I think my cell phone used to fit in there. How funny is that? Shows you how old this bag is. That was the waistline of the pants. And then the back, what does this say? I'm so great, I'm jealous of myself. <laughs> that I obviously bought a long time ago. I should put that on my keys. Peace sign, uh, Harley Davidson patch that I add Austrian crystal to, and then a USA patch, and then more Frankenstein sewing, flames at the bottom. So the reason I'm showing you all of this is because I was at Victoria's Secret the other day, and I bought this fanny pack, and I wanted to alter it because it was just a simple jean kind of 70s looking fabric and it wasn't very pretty so I thought okay so I had in the collection of fabric vintage panties I cut those up I've been using that fabric very sparingly it's on a couple of other projects that I will share with you at another time um, a couple of buttons here this one I bought at the Pasadena's college swap meet and then I don't recall where I got this one and then this one and that one came from an uh, art show uh, in Pasadena a couple of weeks ago in the park. And then from my bead collection, a little Day of the Dead charm. And then I just sewed a little bow on there. And this heart and this skull right here. And then this black one, I ordered fabric on Etsy. And I just made like some simple basic patches out of it and did buttonhole stitch around it in different colors. This is what I just did this morning after packaging up all of those uh, Father's Day cards and I just needed to put my eyes on something else. And then I did a buttonhole stitch around the edge here. And it, you can see it's just a basic simple bag. And they sell this, I think, for like 25 bucks. I had a gift card, so I just, I just thought this would be a good investment for the summer to wear. And some iron-on patches. And then, of course, that was on there, the pink. And then I just got this charm in the mail from Etsy. And then this one was an, from a necklace I had from about eight years ago. So that just zips like that. And then this, I love to carry real army bags. And I put studs in Austrian crystals. You can see that one is like a spike. If I turn it sideways. Studs and Austrian crystal around. 
and then a peace sign, and then an army patch. I think that came off of a t-shirt. I'm not sure. Or maybe another handbag. And I probably just cut it out. And then an Indian. I got that at the Pasadena Swap Meet because I am an Indian. And I just thought the color was so cool. A uh, U.S. button. And then because this bag was strapped was short, I just added in my own length and thought it kind of added to the rugged look. And so this little bag... You can tell it's been well loved. My, I have to fix my vintage button there. When I played a psychic corny on Heroes, I needed to carry my cell phone with me and it couldn't be seen obviously in the scene. So I made a little bag that I thought maybe a psychic corny would carry her tarot cards in. And I used all different types of fabric and I did buttonhole stitching around and I sewed it with the seams on the outside because I knew I wanted to give it a little bit more of a structure and do the buttonhole stitch around it. I think that was from an old shirt. It's a little bit of velvet there. It's a little bit of rickrack, lace, buttons and fabric flowers. And these buttons are vintage. That one's made out of abalone. And then some more little Austrian crystal there. I couldn't be too flashy even though you know, we like it to be all about us, but in the scene, I had to be careful about how much flash Cadillac I could have. And then cherry fabric on the side. More of the vintage panty lace on the bottom. And this fabric was from Joann's. It's kind of 60s looking. And this came from an army shirt. I just thought that was pretty cool and stitched up there and the handle you can tell I carry this a lot I think I was played on there for six months months which was a season oh I love that color right there and so my sister gave me this vintage fabric and I thought that made a nice um, handle so basically I would carry this hanging from my belt so my hands were free to carry any props that they wanted me to. And then the inside, there's the other part of the army uh, pocket. And it looks like I was able to make two pockets in there. And the lining, wow, that's just as pretty <laughs> as the outside. I haven't really looked at this bag in such a long time because, well, the show's been off the air now for a few years, but well, that was it. I just wanted to share with you. So thank you for watching my channel. And every day there will be something different that I've created and that I may want to share with you. So see you soon. Bye.